Right. Rather than instituting endpoint analysis scans this time, which run only on the initial connection, we also have the opportunity with advanced access control to create what we call continuous scans, something actually much more powerful. These would require the Access Gateway appliance because the plan is to scan continuously throughout the length of the user's session for any file, any running process, or any registry entry. Actually, the presence or the absence of any file, running process, or registry entry. What I plan to do here is set up a quick little continuous scan to make sure that there is not a file called keyfile.dll at the root of C, assuming that uh, there's some kind of virus problem, and we know the problem is one machines that have this keyfile DLL at the root of C. So I'm going to scan for that with a continuous scan. Take, creating a continuous scan, I have to put it into what we call a continuous scan filter, a special kind of filter for the continuous scan, and I will actually be making a connection policy with this continuous scan filter. Connection policy is a little different from an access policy. This simply grants or denies access through the Access Gateway appliance. What we're actually talking about here is the secure access client, the SSL VPN client. Whether or not we're allowed to launch the secure access client is really the only type of access that I grant, assuming we do or do not have a particular file, process, or registry entry. So that's the plan. Going over to the Access Suite console of Advanced Access Control, and rather than going to the endpoint analysis scans, this is a completely different setup. This is under the policies node, and these are continuous scans. If I open the node on continuous scans, here's the fact that I can do file scan, process scan, or registry scan. As I said, I want to scan for the absence of c colon backslash keyfile.dll. So I'm going to create a scan here. Uh, the key file scan. The key file scan. And rather than browse, the advantage here is I do not have the virus on my machine, but I'm going to type in the name of the file that would be there if it did have the virus. I don't have to have any of this information here, just scanning for the presence or absence of that file. So the scan simply mentions the file and the path. The uh, fact that I'm scanning for the absence of this will be mentioned in a filter. So now I'm going to go up to the filters and I'm going to create, actually, <laughs> not that kind of filter. I'm going to create a continuous scan filter. So let me create filter. And this will just simply be filter B. Filter B will be my connection continuous scan filter. So I want to scan for the uh, absence. So I'm going to say not, not key file scan. Key file scan is not present. Or C colon backslash key file DLL is not present. That's what this filter checks for. Finally, I'm going to create a policy. And again, it's not going to be an access policy. This is going to be a connection policy that institutes a continuous scan filter. So let me create this connection policy. Whether or not you can come in through the SSL VPN client is what I'm setting here. So this will be ng policy1. And this is the only setting I get to mention. Launch secure access client. Yes, we want to go ahead and let the secure access client be launched if something's passed. Now, I'm not going to do anything with IP pools here. This is a completely different setup. Here's where I get to say what this policy requires. Continuous scan filter. I require the filter B, which I just created, which I know scans for C colon backslash keyfile.dll. Hit next. I want to apply this to all authenticated users. There's no user I want to let in with C colon key file DLL present on this hard drive. So I go finish, and what I've got here is a connection policy. If I want to check the entire policy management tool, it'll turn out I've got uh, AG policy one here. It's a connection policy. It's therefore not covering any specific resource group. It's simply an SSL VPN that uh, uh, allows people in. Launch secure access client, if accessed, would be set to allow in there. And it's for all authenticated users. So that is that.